This will sound very strange, but the assassination shooting of John F. Kennedy and then him at the Parkland Memorial Hospital in Dallas and the Parkland, Florida shooting in 2018 and the two space shuttle disasters from the Kennedy Space Center as well as Bob Dylan's recent 17-minute long song about the murder of John F. Kennedy is a most amazing prophecy that is predicting that an explosion will occur on December 16th, 2022. It will be a major event. The explosion will likely be a dirty bomb. However, it could be something else such as a nuclear bomb. It will likely occur in Manhattan. It is also likely that the official narrative in the mainstream media that will emerge regarding this event will somehow be a lie. The date that this video is posted proves that this prediction was made ahead of time, as does this time-stamped email and forensic notes PDF. If you are skeptical, please email me and I will forward these to you. This is a very big statement, but recently I have come to learn what God was doing through what is called the Tippecanoe Curse, as well as the amazing parallels between the assassination of Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy. These two mysteries are two of the biggest mysteries in American history. And so to claim to have figured out God's purpose behind these mysteries is a huge statement. The Tippecanoe Curse is the name given to the phenomenon regarding how presidents that were elected in the year ending with a zero, every 20 years in other words, have died while in office. From President Harrison in 1840 to John F. Kennedy in 1960, every president that was elected during a year that ended with a zero, in other words, every 20 years, died while in office. The president that followed Harrison's death was Lincoln's death, who was elected in 1860. And in fact, the parallels between the death of Lincoln and the assassination of Kennedy is a prophetic sign that is tied to the Tippecanoe curse prophetic sign. I look forward to explaining this in an upcoming video. But it was because of this recent interest in Kennedy's assassination, as well as recent learning about the nefarious activities involved with the Oklahoma City bombing, that I recently became more interested in learning the basics of the Kennedy assassination as well as the conspiracy theories. It was during this learning that I learned, for example, that the first name of the person that shot the most iconic film in American history, the Zapruder film, which is the film of the assassination of John F. Kennedy, his first name is Abraham which is amazing and stunning because John F. Kennedy was assassinated in a Lincoln Ford and President Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in Ford Theater. But that's just the beginning of the parallels. There's many more, for example, the two vice presidents of each of these presidents, their last names were Johnson. They were both Southerners and they were picked to be vice presidents because they were from the South and on and on. But that's not what this video is about. Actually, I've changed my mind a little bit. I'm just going to I'm just going to go in through quickly some of the connections between Kennedy and Lincoln and their deaths, and I will present the big picture reason for why these connections and also why the Tippecanoe curse because obviously they are tied together. The Tippecanoe curse begins with Lincoln and ends with Kennedy. And therefore, these connections between the deaths of Kennedy and Lincoln are related to the Tippecanoe curse. Lincoln and Kennedy each have seven letters in their names. Well, that's relevant because the number seven is God's signature upon something. That's another story. And it's not that big of a deal because, of course, most names have the seven letters in them. Both presidents were elected in Congress in a year ending in 46. And later, they were elected to the presidency in the year ending in 60. Both uh, married women in their 20s while they themselves were in their 30s. Both assassins John Wilkes Booth and Lee Harvey Oswald were born in the year ending in 39 
and they both are known by their three names, composed of 15 letters. Both ran from a theater and were caught in a warehouse. Oswald ran from the warehouse and was caught in the theater, and Lincoln ran from the theater and was caught in a barn, which is similar to a, a warehouse. It's a, a barn is a place for storing things. Both of the assassins were Southerners. One was from Tennessee and the other one was from Texas. Both president's successors were named Johnson and both of these Johnsons were born in the year ending in 08. Both Lincoln and Kennedy were particularly concerned with civil rights and made their views strongly known. Both presidents were shot in the head on a Friday. Lincoln was shot and killed in Ford's theater. Kennedy was shot and killed in a Ford Lincoln. And again, as was just explained, Kennedy was filmed by a man named Abraham, the most, the most famous film in American history. Both Oswald and Booth were assassinated before they could be put on trial. All right. Now, as was explained, the Tippecanoe curse is that all of the presidents that were elected in a year ending with zero died while they were in office, beginning with President Lincoln. No, I apologize. Beginning with President William Harrison in 1940. I apologize. But that's also very important because this is the big point, the big picture of all of this. And the reason for the similarities between Lincoln and Kennedy, because it's pointing to their successors, their vice presidents, both named Johnson, both born in the year ending in 08, both Southerners and both chosen because they were Southerners. This is pointing to the vice president, Kamala Harris, and through her death while she is in office, the Antichrist will rise to power, Barack Obama. And so that's why the Tippecanoe curse begins with William Harrison. It's explained in other videos how God has used William Harrison and Benjamin Harrison, the only grandfather grandson presidents, to point to Barack Obama, the ninth and 23rd presidents. Barack Obama was the basketball president that wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school, and he became president in 2009. So 9 and 23, hence the 9 and 23rd presidents. Also, the 22nd president, Grover Cleveland, was the only president to serve non-consecutive terms, having skipped the 23rd presidency, just like how Barack Obama will serve non-consecutive terms. Barack Obama was born exactly 120 weeks after John F. Kennedy was assassinated. In the account of Noah's flood, God gave Noah the number 120 in regards to the timing of the impending judgment. In this case, the impending judgment is the Antichrist, Barack Obama. Barack Obama was also born exactly nine years after the first law was passed in the Puerto Rico Constitution, which was a law commemorating Constitution Day. From the Bible, the number nine symbolizes God's judgment, and in his big picture of signs, patterns, and connections, the number nine is the most important number, and nine years connections are extremely important. Barack Obama was unconstitutional. Barack Obama's presidency is mired in constitutional crisis. He was not born in America, and there is another recent constitutional crisis, which I won't talk about in this video, and also there will be the upcoming constitutional crisis, which will be him being appointed instead of elected to the office of president, thus overcoming the 22nd Amendment, which by the way is the reason for the 22nd president, Grover Cleveland, and him being the only president to serve non-consecutive terms, having skipped the 23rd presidency. The reason why this nine years connection to the Constitution of Puerto Rico, which is Spanish America, is because Barack Obama was the first president to visit Puerto Rico while in office in literally 50 years, which is extremely prophetic from the Bible, since John F. Kennedy visited Puerto Rico while he was president. And there's much more to that, more signs and connections that confirm all of that, but I have just given you, in a nutshell, the reason, the purpose for the Tippecanoe curse and the parallel, the similarities between the assassination of Kennedy and Lincoln, these two biggest mysteries in American history, the purpose is for pointing to Barack Obama, the Antichrist, who will replace Kamala Harris. 
who will replace Kamala Harris after she will die in a plane crash on August 25th. This is a prediction being made here. This video is being made before this. And so her death in a plane crash due to a bird strike on August 25th will prove what I have just said regarding the true reason for the Tippecanoe curse and the parallel between Kennedy and Lincoln. Also, there are more, of course, God's signs are infinitely deep and there's more to this, but the reason why Kennedy and Lincoln were both highly interested in civil rights and why Barack Obama is known as the um, social justice warrior is because of the upcoming persecution of his enemies and the elimination of their civil rights. That's what the Antichrist will do. He will persecute true conservatives and Christians. Also, it will be a civil war. Actually, it already is a civil war and has been a literally true civil war since the election of Trump. Obviously, Lincoln is attached to the civil war in the 1800s, but our modern civil war really got going. Its roots are laid with the assassination of Kennedy. The assassination of Kennedy sparked the cultural revolution of the baby boomers, which split America into two camps. And this civil war has been slowly simmering and escalating ever since then. And it will climax with the Antichrist persecuting conservatives and Christians. The reason for the Ford connection in these parallels Again, Kennedy was assassinated in a Ford Lincoln, and Lincoln was assassinated in the Ford Theater. President Ford was the only president that was never elected vice president or president. He was appointed instead. Just like Barack Obama will not be elected this time, he will be appointed instead, thus overcoming the 22nd Amendment's restriction on someone being elected to the office more than twice, he will be appointed. Some social media sites have a maximum length for videos that can be posted. And so I need to cut this video into two parts. Click on the link to watch the remainder of this video. You can also find this link in the description box below this video. Make sure you watch the remainder of this extremely important video that is posted on a different channel than the one you are watching now. The link to the rest of this video is in the description box below this video. Hopefully you at least found this introduction video to be interesting, and if so, please leave a like and upvote the video, and please consider sharing the video.